Scarecrow and Mrs. King will not be seen tonight. Hey everyone, DCB here again. First off, please excuse any background noise you might hear. I'm filming this in the daytime with my garage door open and I'm just a few yards away from the interstate. And I also have my rotocaster running in the background. So, the other day I posted a short video showing pictures of the really rough Burger Patch Burgers and the Fry Guys that I rescued that I'm planning on restoring. But now I want to spend a little more time and actually show you the details of what I'm dealing with here because they're pretty janky. So, first off, I got this little, oh, what is he? Six inch, the little six inch foam burger. These would uh, just go around the playland on little posts. Um, I have a post here. Yeah. I'll show you later. But these were these were cast in two different pieces in in a rigid foam. But this one broke apart. Pretty pretty beat up, but the top of them's not so bad. Um, that should be a pretty easy to clean up. So, goes like that. And then let's see. I got another one here. Another six inch one. As you can see the post kind of rusted out in there. So once I got these uh, all cleaned up and everything, I'm planning on making molds of them and doing castings of them. I'm going to try to get some of this rigid foam so it's as close to the original as possible. All right, next up, I got this metal, metal one. He went on a post here, with like a one, in, one inch and a half post. And these would go all along the, the drive-through. He's metal, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to rescue him or not. He's He's pretty bad. So these had separate eyes that were plastic and they would go in from under, underneath here. And these are actually a pretty opaque white, but later on they were a more transparent acrylic and they would light up the eyes. So this is the earlier version where it was just the white so a lot of people are missing the eyes for these, so I'm going to make molds of these too and, and make some replicas for people that, that need them. This is another metal burger. It's actually not too bad. Just some paint flakes and some rust. A little dent here, I can, I can get that out. This one's on a, a three inch diameter um, metal pole here so we're guessing it went on a fence post maybe um, that goes in good shape though so that one ship that one I'll be able to clean up pretty good and then I'll, I'll make a mold of that and then I got another metal burger he's in the back got some pretty rough spots here and he's got this mysterious hole that we can't figure out why that's there we theorize he went on a post and then had another post continuing out so he's kind of like in the middle maybe I don't know if anyone has any idea why there's a hole there um, some people said it was because of the lamp but the lamp hole is actually I don't know like a three-quarter inch hole and if it was the lamp, it wouldn't have this beam, this little bar in the center here. So I don't know what that what that's all about, but again, it's pretty rusted through. I should be able to patch him up with 
back it with some fiberglass and Bondo. Same here. What do we got next? Next we got the uh, the nine inch burger. He's also out of that rigid foam. So he had a post that came out of him, caused him to split. And just goes like that. Again, the top isn't too bad. Dirty, but not too bad. Interesting, they, they got a little bit of the burger on the top half here. This is where they poured it when they made the casting, but they had a little bit of burger. On the other ones, it was just the bun. So it's kind of weird. So then that would just line up there, just like that. Nine inch burger. I'll be making a mold of him too. I did manage to find all the eyeballs for the three metal ones. So I got six eyeballs here, and they're all that opaque white color. And then I got the fry guys. We got the pink one here, a yellow one, and another pink one. And these were all just out in a yard, just rotting away, and the pieces were kind of scattered everywhere. But I did manage to find this one's shoes. So that one's complete. And then I found this one's shoes and a little bit of his leg. So that one's complete. And this one, I was only able to find his leg, which goes right here. So he's missing his shoes. And the guy I got these from, these are off the carousel. They went around the carousel. And the guy I got these from had a carousel as well. And he said I could just take this character off his carousel to make a mold of the shoes. But the one on his carousel was missing the shoes as well. So I don't know. I'm gonna either have to try to find someone that has the shoes that can make a copy off of them or let me borrow it so I can make a copy. Or I might have to try to sculpt it. I don't know. They're not terribly complicated, but I would like to have the original shoe. Yeah. So here's the two poles. Uh, I think these were for the little the little burgers. Yeah. And then what else? No, well, I found that, but that's all I got off of that. I don't, I couldn't find the other half. So that's that's it. Um, I've got some projects I got to finish up this fall before it gets too cold. But I'm planning on working on these kind of in between those. But I'll do most of it during the winter months. So I should have some castings and everything ready this winter. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll post, I'll post some, uh, progress video of, of me making these and cleaning them up and stuff. So look for that later. Until then, see ya. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at sugar underbar frosted or dust and crops boy.